Mark Weiermuller. Thanks for joining us on the All Night Channel. We are here in uh, Maryland at the CPAC conference, which uh, started, I believe, in the early 80s, but has really grown over the years. In fact, uh, I am surprised from two years ago, having been here, just how big the media uh, covering this event is. Uh, why did you come here from Illinois? It's got to be expensive, the travel, the, all the all that. Why is it important for you to be out here as an Illinois and a, a conservative? Well, it's it's gotten more of interest to me, especially as taxes have increased in, in Chicago and Illinois. My main issue now is taxes, although it ties together with all, every other issue. So I'm here just because I'm I, basically I want less taxes, and everything revolves around that. We just heard the uh, vice president of the United States speak. The president is going to be here tomorrow, which attests, I think, to the power of this uh, organization, CPAC, to draw such speakers as that. When you listen to the speakers and you heard the vice president's uh, speech, tell us what's your assessment of his speech, but maybe more importantly, what impact does this organization have as we look down the road to the November elections and the Republicans hope of uh, holding on to Congress. Well, the Vice President, Mike Pence, was very uplifting today, very positive, talking about all the, the big issues of the day. And everyone's thinking about the next election. I'm thinking more about public policy. Again, taxes, li limiting the size, scope, and cost of government. Again, Mike Pence was very good. He got several standing ovations. It was pretty exciting. And I, I think people have a good feeling with the elections coming up in November you never know what's going to happen who knows and speaking of elections we talked about the national elections we have one coming up in March uh, the Republican race between uh, uh, the Governor Rauner and uh, Jeannie Ives and of course the Democratic as well you being a Republican are you talking with your uh, much with your fellow uh, Republicans uh, from Illinois and what are you hearing as far as which candidate is being favored, whether Governor Rauner or Jeannie Ives? Well, it's a big issue. The primary is March 20th, 2018, Tuesday, March 20th. But early voting's already started. So the big race with Jeannie Ives and Bruce Rauner. I supported Bruce Rauner four years ago, thought he was going to be a great governor. And he's disappointed a lot of people. And uh, most conservatives I know, if not all, are supporting Jeannie Ives. Bruce Rauner has very little support. And he's spending a lot of money. but. Uh, Conservatives are backing Jeannie Ives, and it, it's going to be a very interesting day on March 20th to see who wins this primary and then who's going to face the Democrats in November. And lastly, as you're here, are there other speakers or what issues? Which are issues? You, you mentioned you were more focused on issues. What issues uh, predominantly are you hoping to hear more about? Well, I'm interested in all the issues. There's panels. There's For people that haven't been to CPAC, uh, there's, they just cover everything, and there's there's an expo downstairs, there's Radio Row, and you never know who you're going to run into, so it's it's just uh, something you might not be thinking about all of a sudden is an important issue to you. So, But basically, they all revolve around back to limiting the size, scope, and cost of government, which is what most conservatives feel, and, and hopefully we can get that more in Illinois, because that's Illinois is out of control. If you've ever been to Chicago or Illinois, oh my gosh, but, but there's hope. There There is hope for us. One last question. As people come here to this conference, some people will say, oh, you're just getting your own biases reaffirmed. To what extent, uh, and there might be some of that, but to what extent uh, do you also learn about issues, or is it just a cheerleading uh, for the issues you already believe in? Well, it's both. It's a, it is a pep rally to see other people have the same conservative views, and it also can inspire you to go back and work on these views. But uh, you can network and you can find out that maybe maybe there is some plan we can do to promote the conservative agenda. So we, everybody here is net, it's a big networking event, and people want to promote the conservative the conservative views, and we'll see what happens. But uh, I encourage anybody in Illinois or anywhere across the country to come to CPAC, and you, it's just a great time. It's a great and it's a lot of fun too. Always once a year, about in, uh, I guess, predominantly right about now, around February or so. Yeah, February every year, and uh, this is my second year here, and it's just, it's, it's. some people say it's, it's Disneyland for conservatives. <laughs> so if, if you like this kind of stuff, it's a lot of fun. All right, thank you for joining us. Thank you.